And saints, let us open up our Bibles to the book of Matthew. To the book of Matthew. And you find these recorded words in chapter 15 of the book of Matthew. And I will begin at verse 24. It's the book of Matthew. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let God's word penetrate not only our ears, but our heart. Because it is his word that is the greater blessing. Yes, it is good to rejoice in praise. It is good to commune with God in prayer. But it's the word, oh, that brings deliverance. It's the word that set captives free. Because God is the word. But he answered in verse 24, but he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshiped him, saying, Lord, help me. Saying, say, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, it is not meat to take the children's bread and cast it to dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Verse 28, let's read together. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Let the church say amen. Thanks tonight, we're going to talk about persistent prayer. Persistent prayer. God rewards persistent prayer. The word persistence means continuing firmly in a course of action in spite of difficulties or opposition. Continuing firmly in a course of action in spite of difficulties or opposition. And I believe we can relate to what it means to be persistent. Because as a saint of God, we know that we face many difficulties. We face much opposition. If you're going to be a saint that represents God, you cannot be easily persuaded or dissuaded by difficulties, problems, troubles. As a matter of fact, the devil, he uses these problems. He uses these troubles to cause men and women to just give up on God. Where many say, what's the use? I sought the Lord, but yet I didn't get an answer. Or I did not get the answer that I was looking for. But yet the Lord says he is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. <laughs> oh, diligently means not casually, not, not haphazardly, but with a purpose. Amen. With, amen, energy, being energetic. Seeking God until you get an answer. Not letting go. Not stopping until God rewards you. He said it in his word, he will reward you. But they that come to him must believe that he is. Not only the fact to believe that he exists, he is, but believe that he is able. That he is a healer. 
Whatever you need him to be, he is. But it is according to our faith. This woman, she had not only a need, but she had a great need. And it was not necessarily her per se, but it was her daughter. And just as any parent, they will go through great lengths to do whatever it takes for the well-being of their children. Yet this woman, she realized that the need that her daughter had was beyond her ability, was beyond her expertise. And there was only one, there was only one that has the authority over unclean spirits, and that's God. He's omnipotent. And so as she approached Jesus Christ, she believed that he is omnipotent, that he is able, because she would not have came to him if she didn't believe in her heart that he could help her. And so when we come to God, we have to know that I'm not going to leave here the same way I came. I know God is able to heal my body. And yet, Lord, I just have to have the faith to hold on and not let go until I get an answer. <laughs> Holding on means persistently seeking God. Persistently calling on God. Serving God until he makes a change. Well, this woman, she was a Gentile, Syphophoenician. And they were outside the family of God. For God had a covenant relationship with the Jews. And so as this woman, she approached Jesus, she said within herself, I'm going to acknowledge him as the son of David. Because that's who he is. That is the name associated with the Messiah. But yet that name is only entitled for those in the family. So when she approached God, she approached him with good intentions, but yet outside of the covenant of God. And so as she said, Lord, have mercy on me. Thou son of David, in verse 22, my daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. Jesus, he answered her not a word. See, it's important that we learn how to pray. But prayer is not just a bunch of words. Prayer must be within the guidelines of God's word. Prayer must be with thanksgiving. Thanking God for what you already have before asking God what you need. Praising God. Amen. Because of who he is, you cannot butter God up trying to praise him to see what you can get out of him. <laughs> But yet, Lord, I come and I praise you just because you're God. And the Lord, he began to teach this woman through this interaction how to pray. We have to learn how to pray. Learn how to get a breakthrough. How to pray through, amen, obstacles. Pray through strongholds. Pray through to get a breakthrough. When there's opposition and trouble on every hand increasing, I got to increase in my prayer. Increase in my determination to seek God because I'm determined not to let obstacles, problems stop me from receiving my blessing from God. God rewards persistent prayer. Well, we must realize that the devil, he don't want you to persist in prayer. 
As a matter of fact, he's going to do all he can to try to stop you from getting close to Jesus. The disciple said, send her away. God, he will never send anyone away. I'm glad about that. He's a loving God. See, God is a compassionate God. Man may not have the compassion like these disciples. They didn't have compassion. They saw that this woman was, had a daughter vexed with the devil, yet, amen. They knew what Jesus can do, but he, they said, send her away. And the devil, he wants to just send you away. Amen. What's the use? He wants you to no longer pursue God, no longer seek God, because he knows that God has the power to loose the hold that he has on that daughter. The devil has a hold on our family members. But it's our persistent prayer. Oh, that's going to set him free. Hallelujah. We have to go and seek the Lord on behalf of those that don't know the Lord in the way that they should. And the devil wants you to give up. The devil wants you to stop seeking God, stop serving God, saying, what's the use? God has not done it yet, but that doesn't mean he's able. <laughs> that doesn't mean that, amen, he won't. But yet, there are times when we are seeking an answer and we don't receive the answer that we are expecting. But that's no reason for us not to continue to seek God. But Lord, help me, help me, Lord, to surrender to your will. Help me to get on one accord with you. And here we can see that, amen, she had so much working against her. It seemed that if, if God, Jesus was against her, he didn't answer her. Her race as a Gentile was against her. The disciples telling Jesus to send her away was against her, but that didn't stop her. <laughs> As a matter of fact, oh Lord, she began to worship God and say, Lord, help me. She persisted even more. When opposition increased, you got to increase in God. Hallelujah. You got to be more determined. It takes great faith to receive a greater blessing from God but it's going to take a greater determination that means a determination beyond what you've already exhibited <laughs> a commitment beyond what you've already displayed if you desire God to do that thing that only he can do for you but yet here this woman as Jesus spoke he said I'm come to my own children. I'm coming to my own lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yet, see, the Lord, he came to his own first, but yet his own rejected him. But God, he had a plan, and he realized that he was not going to exclude the whole world from getting to know him in a right way. Yes, I'm coming to my covenant family, but I come to build a church to establish a spiritual family. And there is no Jew nor Gentile, no bond, no Greek, no male or female in my body. But we all must be born by one spirit Amen. The Holy Ghost into the body of Christ. <laughs> That's the family that we are born into by the Holy Ghost. The family of God. And yet, here Jesus Christ, as she bowed before the Lord, sometimes we have to change our, our course of action. We sought the Lord in a certain way, we didn't, have not received a response. So Lord, oh Lord, I'm going to worship you. Mm, worship is a downward act of humility. Acknowledging how great God is. Oh Lord, 
You are the omnipotent God. You are a holy God. And there's no one like you. Time, we have to take time out to worship God. Oh, instead of lifting ourselves up, lift up God. Oh, Lord, praise him. Magnify him. Let us exalt his name together. <laughs> oh, when we worship the Lord, God has a way of visiting his people. That has a way of getting God's attention. He's seeking true worshipers. Worship him in spirit and in truth. We can't, no one can worship God but by the Holy Ghost and by the word. Amen. And here the Lord, as she worshiped God, God responded once again. And he began to speak to her in a, in a manner of a parable. And he let her know that Oh, there's some bread that I come to provide for my children because my children got to eat. And yet, as a parent, we provide food and shelter and everything our, our child needs. And yet, it says here, I'm not going to take this bread and cast it to the dogs. Oh, Lord, and this woman, instead of looking at what she don't have, she began to look at what she could have. And today, saints, no one is satisfied with a crumb. No one is satisfied with just a little piece. They want the whole thing. But yet, little is much when God is in it. Lord, just give me the crumb blessings. Mm, we must not overlook the small things. That God does for us on a daily basis. Lord, I thank you for eyes to see. I thank you, Lord, for activity in my limbs, strength in my legs to walk on. The ability to dress myself. Thank God for being in my right mind. Once you start to overlook those small things, you won't appreciate the greater things. But I'm dissatisfied. Lord, I thank you for the small things you do for me. I appreciate. It doesn't have to be this large, grandiose event. But Lord, I just appreciate. Oh Lord, you stopping by and visiting me. I thank you for the time that we can interact and spend. Thank you for the communion and fellowship. Thank you for taking the time out. Oh, to stop by my dwelling place. Yeah, hallelujah. This woman, she saw and heard the words of God. And she said within herself, at least the dogs are in the same room with the children. Uh, yeah, I may not be sitting at the table. Oh, but I can yet be under the table because that's where the dogs Ah, you got a dog, they under the table waiting for something to drop. <laughs> they don't care how big it is, how small it is. They see something fall on the ground, they go after it. Mm, you got to be hungry for the blessings of God, whatever it is. Lord, let your crumb blessings fall on me. Yes, hallelujah. As long as I'm in the same room, with the bread and Jesus is the bread of life yeah he's the bread that came down from heaven and I'm glad today saints of God that, that Jesus that he came to expand that, oh his family if you will that, but yet his, the bread that, that represents his body that had to be torn that, and ripped in pieces. That, yet, so the blood, that, oh, the blood of Jesus, that we were once 
far away and God was unapproachable but now we are made nigh by the blood it's the blood of Jesus that provided the forgiveness of sins and for all of mankind but it for only those that come to Jesus in a humble way come to the Lord acknowledging that you have a need acknowledging that I'm bound and only Jesus can set me free Lord help me and when you call on Jesus he's our present help in the time of trouble Jesus he'll heal your cry and I'm glad today that one day the Lord he heard me as I cried help unto the Lord I begin to seek God by calling on the name of Jesus because neither is there salvation in any other name but the name of Jesus oh my daughter oh I wasn't going for her but I was vexed with the enemy I was bound by an unclean spirit but I sought the Lord because he's the only one that can give me a blessing from his table and one day God he wasn't approachable but now come to Jesus just as you are and he will receive you if you come humbly by faith believing that he is he is a savior he is my joy he is my healer he is my friend he's a good God and that's this woman I said, Lord, truth, true Lord. In other words, amen, Lord. I agree with you. When you agree with the word and get on one accord with God, I submit to your word. It's more than just agreeing. It's more than just saying amen. But Lord, I'll be the dog. I humble myself and get under the table wherever you want me to go as long as you bless me I don't care how they come but Jesus if I gotta go down low like a dog I do just that because I know a little a blessing from you is more than enough he's a good God he's worthy to be praised and Jesus he said oh woman great is thy faith my God it's going to take some greater faith to receive the greater blessing from God he's brought you through many obstacles many situations but what you're facing right now is going to take greater faith a greater determination a greater a commitment a greater praise unto God it's not easy to praise God when the weight of the world is on your shoulders it's not easy to praise God when everything is not going right with you but the Lord let me know that I want the testimony like David I will I 
I will uh, bless the Lord uh, at all times. Uh, his praise uh, shall continually uh, persist in praise, uh, persist in prayer. Uh, I'm going to praise God uh, in spite of uh, my opposition uh, and my trouble. Uh, that I know uh, the more I praise God, uh, he uh, inhabited uh, the praises uh, of his people. Uh, and when praises uh, go up, uh, the blessing uh, comes down. Uh, when praises uh, go up, uh, blessings, uh, joy, uh, healing, uh, deliverance uh, come down. Uh, don't let uh, the devil uh, stop your praise. Uh, but if he stop your praise, uh, he going to stop your healing. Uh, if he stop your praise, uh, he going to stop your joy. Uh, but the more uh, I uh, praise God, uh, the joy, uh, the joy, uh, the joy uh, of the Lord uh, began to fill uh, my soul, uh, flood my soul. Uh, Lord, I thank you uh, because your joy uh, gave me strength. Uh, I was weak uh, when I came uh, to the house of the Lord. Uh, but Lord, uh, I praise you. Uh, and the more I praise you, uh, the more strength I got, uh, the more uh, I can stand up. Uh, I came and bowed down. Uh, but Lord, uh, he has straightened you up uh, to give him praise. Uh, uh, even more uh, than I did before. Uh, uh, victory uh, is in the praise. Uh, uh, joy uh, is in the praise. Uh, uh, don't let the devil uh, uh, defeat you. Uh, uh, but for me and uh, uh, in my house, uh, uh, I'm going to keep on praising God. Don't, let, don't stop praising Oh, when you go home, yeah, keep on praising. Yeah, when you're driving in a car, yeah, keep on praising him. Yeah, because yeah, you want yeah, God to stay with you. Yeah, you want God yeah, to be with you. Yeah, wherever praise is, yeah, that's where God is. <laughs> Woo! I thank God. I hope that you see where your blessing comes from. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't let the devil cause you to stop calling on God. Stop seeking God. Because you're right there. You're so close. She was so close. But she didn't stop. <laughs> no matter what other people say. Oh, you got to keep on. Keeping on. If you don't want to go, don't hinder me. And you're not going to hinder me. Because I'm going to get to the place where God is. I'm going to get to the place where Jesus is. Where his presence is. I may not be able to see him. But I know he's real. <laughs> oh, he said we're two or three. Mm -hmm. Woo. Oh, yeah. Let's gather together two or three. Oh, Holy Ghost filled. Amen. Those that love God. Those that are the family of God. Those that have a connection with God. A fellowship with God. If you can just get two or three. Two or three crumbs. Just a little bit. Just a little. God. He don't overlook the little. But he get in the little. He said, I'm going to be in the mess. See, God don't overlook the little. The world does. And then they can lose their blessing by overlooking the little. Right? I don't want that crumb. <laughs> they has all, have already defined how and what God should do to bless them. But God may have something totally different for you. And it's going to be better for you. <laughs> but you might say, well, uh -uh, well, I don't want that. I didn't, I didn't say I wanted that, Lord. I wanted this. <laughs> you just want to tell God how to bless you. Mm -mm, that's not asking. And it's not 
submitting to his will. Right? Amen. I want you to see what's needed in persistent prayer. You need to be patient. Oh, you got to learn how to wait on God. If it don't come the first day, you got to keep on seeking. Don't come the second day. Deliverance don't come a week later. A month later. Oh, see, sometimes we go through some troubles and sicknesses. Sometimes we just settle in ourselves. I just got to carry this with me. <laughs> Wherever where I go. Yeah, we want to be healed. But yet, after a while, God's grace. I said God's grace is carrying us through. And we don't realize it. Everybody, he said my grace is what? Sufficient. It's more than enough. And it's everything that we need. But see, his grace is carrying you through until deliverance comes. How many know that one day you had an affliction, all of a sudden it's gone? Come on, somebody. <laughs> That's just me. You didn't realize it. You didn't know when he did it. You didn't know how he did it. But all you know is he did it. Just for me. <laughs> he was carrying you through all the time. You sing the song, how did I <laughs> make it through? His grace was carrying you through. Woo! Glory. We have to learn, saints. Amen. I just want to accept your will that the glory of God might rest on me. Yes, this body needs help, but the spirit needs more help. Our spiritual health is far more important than this physical health. And see, we have to, this is where we have to trust God. If I seek you in a spiritual way, Lord, I know you're going to take care of my body. Because he said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. He said, I'm going to take care of everything else. But we worry about everything else. <laughs> not trusting God. Not having faith in God. But I'm so glad, saints. Amen. When you realize that God healed something that you've been carrying around for months at a time, you say, Lord, you're trying to figure it out. When was it? When? <laughs> you just wake up every day. What well, is there? And, yeah, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. You give God praise every time you feel it. <laughs> give God thanks. Lord, thank you for my aching knee. Lord, thank you. Oh, I praise you, Lord, for the back. I praise you for the shoulder. I got a whole list of stuff, Lord. I thank you. <laughs> oh, if you got 10 things, he knock one off. Give him praise. If you don't appreciate the small crumbs, he can't knock off 987. But appreciate the small things. Oh, I hope you get this, saints. Right? You don't have to have the whole loaf. You don't have to have instant deliverance. But Lord, just give me a crumb. <laughs> oh, it's more than enough. I know I can make it. I can make it. God wants us to just encourage us to be persistent. Don't let the enemy cause you to be sent away. Mm -mm. I'm not leaving here until God, oh God bless me. I'm not, I'm not stopping to serve God until I receive the greater blessing. And when I say the greater blessing, I'm talking about the reward from heaven. <laughs> oh, because God said, I got a new body. We struggling with these old bodies of ours. But saints, God said, in a moment, we shall all be changed. In the twinkling of an eye, mortal shall put on immortality. Corruption, incorruption. And so it's worth it all, worth it all. Right? Glory to God. But see, it takes our spiritual health to be ready to receive the spiritual reward that comes from God. Right? Yes, it's important. Thank God for the testimony because I always preach, you got to do your part that God might do his. 
Right? God doesn't want us to be neglectful. Amen. Abusive to this body. Right? Within reason. Because when I say within reason, some people go overboard. <laughs> Oh, they live at the gym seven days a week. It becomes their shrine. It becomes their sanctuary. Lord, have mercy. But what about Jesus? <laughs> oh, we can put so much emphasis and energy in the body. We neglect our spiritual health. Spiritual man is dying. Oh, but I'm healthy. <laughs> you can be you can be healthy in the grave. But yet, God, let us know. Amen. That as long as we put him first, seek him first, amen, he will continue to take care of the natural thing. He supplies our needs.